Hi everyone, Estea here. Just here to spill some more tea for you guys, and this time it's about Erica Jane or Erica Girardi, whatever you prefer to say. I'm here today to expose Erica Jane's inappropriate Christmas pictures. If you're watching this video, you probably already know all about Erica Jane or Erica Girardi. Erica is one of the main cast members on the hit Bravo reality TV show, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which is based in Los Angeles, California. 50-year-old Erica Girardi was married to Tom Girardi, a Los Angeles-based lawyer, until very recently, when she filed for divorce in late 2020. Erica Girardi also has a child with her partner before Tom Girardi. Her son is also coincidentally named Tom. What are the odds? Recently, there has been a lot of controversy surrounding The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. This is because a current cast member of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Erica Girardi, is going through some legal battles. Erica Girardi's husband, Tom Girardi, is allegedly involved in a legal scandal. And everyone and their mother has an opinion on this case. But I'm here today to talk about Erica Girardi's inappropriate Christmas pictures. These are the Christmas pictures in question. Now, this is the first one that she posted. Well, it's not exactly a picture, it's a video clip of her prancing around in a tiny red Mrs. Claus suit. Well, not suit, a dress. Um, it's like a micro mini and her boobs are hanging out and she's got some weird thing going on with the makeup where her face just all looks like one color. It's really odd, I don't know what. She looks really like sickly and pale. And it's kind of just like really, you know, one-toned. Like, kind of like a corpse's kind of flesh. That's what I think the look she, she's going for is. Like a corpse Mrs. Claus. Anyway, I digress. And her hair looks odd as well. It's just like, it's very weird. I think she was going for a sexy Mrs. Claus look, but to me it just kind of looks really like she is super desperate for attention and she can't get enough of it. And the caption underneath this video clip is a Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Well, I just don't even know what to say to that. I just feel, I know it's a Home Alone reference and I just think it's gross, the whole thing. You know, the picture, the caption, not the picture, the video clip, the caption, everything. It's just so inappropriate coming off the tail end of all this legal scandal and how she used all her money, well not her money, the victim's money, allegedly used all the victim's money to pay for her disgusting lifestyle. And I'm sure she's still using some of the things that she bought with this, you know, let's just call a spade a spade her alleged blood money. So this is very gross to me, and I thought it would stop there. But unfortunately she posted another picture after that. And this one is, she's outdoors in this picture. I think it's in her garden or something like that, or in a park or something. She's sitting down and she, her hair, well, let's just say her hair and makeup looks a lot better in this photo than the video clip. And she's got another Mrs. Claus outfit kind of thing going on. Um, and this time I believe it's a two-piece, so it's a skirt and some kind of top. Barely there kind of top. It is covered in fur, so there's fur around the edges of the skirt and on the sleeves as well, because it's long sleeves. And there is red stockings. I'm not a fan of fur. I think fur is really cruel, and most of your fur is probably coming from China, and they're probably using dogs, so just think about that. Then, weirdly, she has all these red baubles on the ground. So this is another really thirsty, thirsty, thirst trap picture that she's posting. It's nothing out of the ordinary, but I just thought Christmas is a time where people are with their families, and wouldn't she rather just be posting a nice photo of her and her son, even if she doesn't want to show his face, maybe the back of him, like, eating, like, a nice Christmas meal together, or, like, I don't know, something a bit more wholesome than this weird crap that she continues to post, and she's very tone deaf, because she does, she really thinks she's the victim in this situation, which is the grossest thing. There are real victims of Tom's. She, maybe she did get fooled by Tom, but it's nowhere near as like close to 
what the victims of Tom went through. They actually got their money stolen from them, and he was putting it into you. He was giving it to you, all this money, and you still continue to flaunt yourself everywhere, like your body, your, your, you know, your wealth on the show, like nothing's happened. Like you're kind of like a trophy or something. You're making yourself look so stupid. It's unbelievable, and she just continues and continues. And I feel like all of her possessions should be should have got like repossessed by now because all of these things that she is allegedly like this is mine, that was mine, that was gifted to me, or whatever, in legal terms. Those things still belong to Tom's victims. Everything she paid for ever was given to her by the victims of Tom. Because it's their money, it's not hers. And I feel like this is so disrespectful. You're basically, again, throwing this in the victims' faces. Like, I'm still doing great and you still don't have your money because I used it all up. And I continue to use your money or whatever because I don't know how she's funding all these things. I know that these two posts were like a paper magazine post spread or whatever because she has, you know, that written, written up there somewhere or it's in the pictures or whatever. But I feel like she is really pushing the limits of what society deems acceptable after you steal someone's money. Like, no one would ever do this after stealing like thousands, like hundreds or thousands and millions of dollars from people. Like, who has it? It's super shameful. Who has the nerve to do something like this? Like, do you not have any like iota of shame inside your entire body? Because ugh, I just, I can't. And also, if I was ever like a 50, at 50, if I ever make it to that age, and I was prancing around in, like, lingerie, basically, and, like, tiny little Santa, uh, Mrs. Santa Claus outfits and stuff like that. I would want someone to slap me and say, get a grip. You're 50 years old. You don't need to be doing this. Put your body away. I, I don't know what runs through this woman's mind. I feel like she is, like, delusional in so many different ways. I just want to hear everyone else's opinion on this situation as well because I had to comment, I had to say something about it, I had to make a video about it because I just feel really uncomfortable watching this woman continue the way she is continuing. And it makes me feel, ugh. I'm not trying to like body shame or like say that slut shame or anything like that, but I just feel like, when is it all gonna stop? I just, I can't, I can't with her anymore. I'm also not trying to age shame. But I just feel like I'm bringing these points up, it's just because of who she is and what she's done. So I'm trying to put everything in context and just like explain my thoughts about the situation. If she was just like a regular, you know, housewife on Beverly Hills doing all this stuff for attention, you know, skimpy little outfits for Christmas and blah blah blah, I'd just find it really funny and laugh it off or just be like, good for her, she's 50, she looks great, why not flaunt it? But I don't feel like, with the in the in this context with the victims and everything, I don't feel and the stolen money. I don't feel like it is appropriate for her to be doing this because she's only making herself look worse in the court of public opinion. Even if she's not convicted of anything, she still looks extremely self-centered and tone deaf to what is going on and what people think of her because oh, I just can't. I'm going to leave it at that. I'll keep you guys posted on her because I'm sure she'll continue and I she does it for the attention or whatever but or the money or whatever but I'll keep you posted. As always, if you have any tea that you want me to spill, please let me know by contacting me on Twitter or Instagram in my DMs at Thea's Lifey. And just to remind you that all the opinions are my own in this video and everything I've said and heard is alleged. I really want you guys to know that I value your thoughts and I want to know what you think. Do you think Erica looks beautiful in these Christmas pictures? Or do you think they're really distasteful and she should be ashamed of herself after allegedly using the victim's money and she should be laying low? Or do you think that it's time for her to shine once again? I really want to know your thoughts. Let me know. If you have any other video ideas, let me know and I will do my best to find out as much information as I can about the topics you want me to. Like I said, leave a comment and let me know what you really think.
Share, like, and subscribe for more. I'll be back with extra tea very soon. And don't forget to take care of yourselves out there.